Hello friends, it's Stamp Ventures with Shauna, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Canada. Welcome to my Tuesday tutorial on Tuesday, whew, June 13th at, oh yes, I did it, I hit it right on 9 p.m. tonight, <laughs> yay! Um, that almost never happens. <laughs> um, welcome, welcome, and um, if you have found, managed to find me somehow, um, say hello so we know that you're there, give a wave, um, they're just getting connected to my iPad, so at some point I'll be able to check the comments and um, see what's coming through, and um, there we go. Yeah, I think we're fairly centered and fairly straight and pretty much ready to roll. All right. Ah, yeah, here's my funny for tonight. Uh, I'm sure tons of you have seen this on Facebook or wherever. Um, and I, I'm a little bit of a, a Star Wars fan, probably not like a major geek fan like some people are, but I do enjoy a good Star Wars movie. Um, I've seen all the, the, the three trilogies and the the other movies that the side movies that fit in there somehow and so this one this one tickled my funny bone there we go Darth Vader's rarely seen wife <laughs> and well here in Mushcha today we had some pretty nice weather again I think I've had like week after week after week of beautiful weather which is unbelievable because Saskatchewan doesn't usually work that way. But my weather forecast for today is, or not the forecast, the weather report. <laughs> the weather has already come and gone for today. Today's weather is seaside time. And it was, yeah, just a beautiful day. It was um, 30 degrees Celsius here. And I can never remember how that translates to Fahrenheit, but it was probably about like, I don't know, something like 88, 88 Fahrenheit or maybe 90. It was a warm one. And um, so a great day to be at the pool or the beach. Mind you, the lakes here in Saskatchewan still might be a little chilly. They maybe haven't warmed up yet, but if this weather keeps up, they sure will. And today's weather report is brought to you by the sea turtle. And yeah, great day for a swim. In fact, yeah, I'm just thinking this um, Moose Jaw has one outdoor pool and yesterday the outdoor pool opened and I mean it just couldn't be two more beautiful days for our outdoor pool. So all those people who love to swim um, outside are just in their element and uh, yeah, it's been, been pretty nice. Okay, I think I saw a comment flash by on my screen. Uh, let's just give a wave, say hello if you happen to join us here. Oh, okay, what happened to it? There it is. Oh, hi Pam. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Yes, North Carolina. You love Star Wars too. All right, excellent. Oh, yeah, it, it's just um, ever since I saw it in like, I don't know, grade six when I was a kid, the original Star Wars, I've always uh, been a fan. Uh, and th okay, 30 Celsius is 86 Fahrenheit. Okay, yeah, so it was a pretty nice day here. Um, we've been having weather that's almost like July weather here. Uh, June it tends to be, yeah, mm, well, maybe more like 22, 23, and I think we're going to get that kind of weather coming up in the next few days. So, but we've had, you know, we've had an early t taste of summer and we're sure enjoying it. Um, today's card is going to be a slimline card and we're going to be using designer series paper. And uh, just a quick reminder that uh, the designer series paper, the ones that are pictured on this flyer, there's uh, two pages here. Um, they're all on sale in, in this flyer, 15% off until the end of June. And today I'm going to be using some countryside in paper. It's the one with all the blues. And then I will show you a card sample that I also made using the delightfully eclectic paper and one using the Hello Irresistible paper 
And I was really happy to see that the Hello Irresistible paper is also part of the sale, even though it's an online exclusive. So you won't be able to see this paper in uh, our annual catalog, but it is showing up in the online store. So yeah, it's worth taking a look at the papers to see if there are any that you like so that you can grab them now while they are on sale. Okay, I'll tuck that out of the way and Oh, it was high 70s in North Carolina, but low 80s the rest of the week. Okay, yeah, that's really strange for us to be warmer than you. Um, last week we hit 35 degrees Celsius and um, it, it, we were the same temperature as Mesa, Arizona, which was just crazy. Ah, oh, yes, and you're saying... Uh, Pam, that, that Hello Irresistible paper is some of your favorite. Yeah, I love it too. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, okay, what's the Hello Irresistible? It looks like this and it's a six by six pack. And um, what the card that I'm going to be making today uses um, a six inch piece by three inch piece of designer paper. So if you're using a six by six pack of paper, you just cut it in half. Um, my card is going to have a vertical orientation, so you cut the designer paper in half vertically um, to make this card. Uh, this paper that I'm using here from the Countryside Inn is 12 by 12, but it still um, works really great with this too because you can cut your paper in half at six inches and then cut it at three, six, nine, and 12. Um, you get four and four, you get eight eight pieces like this out of one sheet. So you could make lots of these slimline cards. So to start with, yeah, I've got the Countryside in DSP and um, I've already pre-cut a piece of Knight of Navy paper because it matches, coordinates with the background of this paper. Um, and yeah, so it's three inches by three inches and this is six inches by three inches. I should mention, I got the idea for this card uh, online. It was on Pinterest. I think it might have been Don Olchevsky. I think it was one of the Dons, but I, yeah. And so I can't take credit for this um, layout. She had a little bit of a different take on it, um, but I liked how anything that uses the designer paper and uses it with, you know, um, measurements that work so well with the, with the dimensions of the paper um, that that makes me happy. So then I'm going to cut a layer. Let's see. Mm, no, you know what? I'm going to cut my card base first and I'm going to cut it from um, the basic white thick. So it's going to be a slim line. My card will be eight and a half inches tall, so I don't have to do any cutting um, on that part of the paper, but I'm Ooh, there we go. Make room for that arm to swing out on my paper trimmer. I'm going to cut it down. Instead of 11 inches tall, I'm going to cut it down to 7 inches. And this I can use for another project another time. So I'll set that off to the side. And then while I've got my paper here, I'm going to move it over to 3.5 inches. And I'm carefully going to tuck away, because I don't want to cut it again, I'm going to tuck away my cutting blade and I'll grab the light gray blade, which is the scoring blade, and score it in half uh, at three and a half inches. So it was cut to seven inches and scored at three and a half inches. So now when I fold it, I've got a card base that's three and a half inches wide and eight and a half inches tall. And while I'm here with my paper trimmer, I'll grab the balmy blue cardstock and I'm going to make the next layer of my card. So I'll just go down a quarter of an inch. So that would be three and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter inches. So I'm going to do the three and a quarter inch first. There we go. Three and a quarter. And yeah, I can cut. I'll 
oh, I might be needing this. Actually, I probably don't want to use this piece because it's pretty big. I think I'd rather use one of my scraps. So I'll set this off to the side. That could be used for like a, you know, I could get two more card layers out of that piece. And eight and a quarter tall. So just taking off that quarter inch of the eight and a half paper. Okay. And I think, I think that's, oh no, I do want to do one more bit of cutting. Like I said, I, I needed a little scrap piece of the balmy blue as I'm going to make a little chunk that's going to go crosswise uh, on the card. Oh, and just looking through my papers and I was going to grab what I thought was balmy blue, but it was not at all. It was pool party and that just would not have worked. So how do I keep my scraps? Well, sometimes I have them in these plastic sleeves that you can put in a binder. Um, some, some of my scraps, like the pool party ones here, I have them in a Ziploc bag. As you can see, um, well, pool party has been probably the more popular of the two colors because I've got more scraps of that. But um, what I've done lately with some of my newer colors is I have, well, let's see, where's a newer one? Fresh Freesia is kind of newer. Um, I've taken the white cardboard that comes, you know, the white cardboard that comes in the packages of designer paper. Once my paper is all done, I cut the white cardboard down to the size that fits in one of these Ziploc bags and then put in all my fresh freesia scraps and I labeled fresh freesia on the edge of the cardboard so it's easier for me to flip through my stacks of paper and find the color that I'm looking for. These ones just haven't been labeled yet. <laughs> okay, so this piece, I want it to be three quarters of an inch by three inches and I'm wondering this might be three quarters of an inch already. No, nope, it's not quite. It's an inch. So let's see. I'm going to cut it down to three inches wide. And it'll be a half inch tall. No, nope, not a half inch. Three quarters of an inch tall. Three inches by three quarters inches. Now I can move my paper trimmer out of the road and we can get assembling and stamping. This is a pretty quick card. There isn't a ton of stamping to do, um, at least not what I'm doing tonight. You could probably add a lot more things to it, but I just needed um, a quick card. My uh, mother-in-law is um, moving into a care home tomorrow, and I want to get to the care home um, in early in the morning, well, not super early, but before she arrives, and then um, have um, some pictures of the grandkids and a card to welcome her, and um, and maybe a peony from my garden, just something to make her feel at home. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a transition, and um, she she it does get very confused, so she might not fully understand what's happening or where she is but hopefully the pictures of the grandkids will make her smile and um yeah just help a little bit make her feel a little bit more comforted so okay so I've taken the three inch by three inch piece of Knight of Navy and I've adhered it to the three and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece of balmy blue and then I'm going to adhere my designer paper to the bottom. See, and I'm just leaving so that the edges around the sides or the mat is all the same. So it does overlap a little bit here in the middle. Um, I just found three by three so easy to work with. It didn't matter which way I turned this piece. It was still going to be the right size fitting it onto my card layer. So now here we go with the six inch by three inch piece of designer paper. Well, this is kind of a nice little pattern too. Um, that might look just like polka dots to you, but those little spit spots in there, those little lighter blue spit spots are uh, 
They're not spit spots. They're little teensy weetsy flowers. So glue that down. And so this is kind of the, the recipe or the formula for this card. Is six by three at the bottom with DSP, three by three at the top, and then mounted onto an eight and a quarter, yeah, eight and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of cardstock, and then onto the eight and a half by three and a half card base. So, yeah, a nice card quick and easy to show off the paper and then I'll show you I'm going to stamp a sentiment and then I'm just going to do quick punch to add um, a little bit of a, a focal point element but you could stamp and die cut your focal point element um, yeah and let's see here now there's this piece that I cut earlier. This is going to go across here and I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And I decided that um, I wanted something, um, like I said, to welcome my mother-in-law to her new room. So I pulled out Warm Welcome. I, a while back, I thought the stamp set had been retired, but I believe it's still in the online exclusive. So if you're wondering, like, where are, am I finding this? <laughs> um, it is, it's online. Um, and it does have this welcome word here. So I'm going to use that. Uh, the, another set or another card that I'll show you in just a minute. Um, I used the hello as well. So um, I, I like the saying, knowing you feels like coming home. And I also like the let's spend, spend time together. So there's some nice words in that set. And so I've got my welcome. Oh, the stamp is mounted onto the little piece here of balmy blue. And I'm going to stamp it in Night of Navy. And I just pulled out a foamy mat because it is photopolymer. I get a little bit more push into the into the stamp image, stamped image. And you don't want to use a foamy mat underneath your red rubber stamps because they already have a layer of rubber under them. But it, the foamy mats work really well with the photopolymer. Okay, so there's my welcome. And I'm going to glue that right at the top of the designer series paper there. So it creates a little bit of border at the top. And now I said I was going to add a focal point and I actually have pulled out a retired punch because I was being lazy and it was just quick and easy and um, yeah, I uh, want to get up so I can get this to her room in the morning. So I've pulled out, this is our old um, daisy. I don't know, it was medium or small or something like that. The smaller of the two daisies anyways. So I'm going to punch a couple of those. Let's see if I can find a scrap of my basic white that's big enough. I think this one might do it. Yep. I have a drawer of scraps right, right beside me, just down and to the right. In fact, oh, I might be able to even show you what this looks like. Um... Hmm. Yeah. What the heck? So <laughs> this is a Sterilite container and this top drawer has my scraps of white and the middle drawer has the scraps of vanilla and the bottom drawer has the scraps of black. <laughs> so basic, my basic colors that I just go to all the time and I need scraps all the time and not that I don't need or use the scraps from the other colors, but the white I just, yeah, the white and the vanilla and the black, I have so many scraps, so I have a little drawer of them. So I'm going to layer my daisies here, 
like this. I think I, yeah. But I think I want to do two to really make it a full daisy. You could just do like that too, but it seems a little sparse when it's just like by itself like that. So I prefer to layer the two daisies together. Now we do have a, if you don't have this um, small daisy punch, we do have a daisy stamp set and stamp and die set that's in our annual catalog or new. It's a new bundle that just came out. So you could take a look at that and there quite possibly could be a die cut daisy in there that you might be able to do something very similar with. Okay, and now I'm going to pop that up with a dimensional. I'm getting to the end of this pack of dimensionals. You can, can see I've started to like cut them apart into pieces on the edge so I can use them all. And okay, I'll layer that. Here. So I'm just going to overlap it a little bit and it's going to go off over the edge a bit here, but I think that's okay. Something like, something like that. Now I want to put something in the center of that daisy just to make it pop. And um, I looked through my embellishments. I found these ones that were in the January through, what was it? April, May, whatever it was, the spring mini. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the word spring. Um, and I really liked these. As you can see, I really like the navy ones especially. Um, and they didn't continue over, but I'm hanging on to these because navy is a color that I use so much. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's like navy to me is like black. It's like a neutral I think it might even be listed in the neutrals. Ooh, this one's really stuck. Hmm, okay. Not being able to pick it up with my putty, so I'm going to... Okay, there we go. Pick it up with my piercer tool. Put that in the center. There we go. That, that just finishes it off. Just needed something like that. Okay, so that, uh, yeah. That's it. That's all. <laughs> that's all. I, like this is a quick and simple get it done card. And there's lots of room on the inside to write the grandkids names here. And if you want to see um, a couple variations that I made, um, I'll show you one that I tried just a little bit earlier. There's the hello. And that was from the, <laughs> also from the warm hello stamp set. And there's that daisy punch again. And then there's some daisy designer paper. And if you're wondering what pack of paper that came from, it's one of these really big jumbo packs of 12 by 12 paper. There it is there. Um, I've been having fun. There's some really interesting uh, designs in here. Some of you who took my super cool class and we made all the cards with the foods will recognize pretzels there they are yep um, and so this great big pack of 48 pieces of paper is called delightfully eclectic and then I have one more card but I'm not happy with it <laughs> and I'll show you why so here's the card that um, I made with the hello irresistible designer paper the paper that Pam said she really likes and I like it a lot too and it's the online exclusive paper so I just you know took a half sheet put it there um, I used some at the top here this is flirty flamingo because that was the color that is in the background of the DSP and then um, for the mat around the edge and across here this little bit at the top um, I used lemon lolly now when I look on the back of the pack of paper it actually says the yellow in here is Daffodil Delight. But it's quite, it's very, very light in this paper. So, um, and I hadn't used my lemon lolly yet. And I really liked how it just brightened it up. And so I went ahead and used lemon lolly instead. Um, the word smile came from my Circle Sayings stamp set. 
and I stamped that in the Flirty Flamingo ink. And then here's my, my problem. I made, or I didn't make, I die cut a butterfly in the Quiet Meadow bundle. So the Quiet Meadow stamp set has coordinating dies with it and there's a butterfly in there. So I die cut that out in, in the basic white. And then I thought, ooh, we've got to get a coordinating embellishment to go in there. So I grabbed this set of embellishments. They're a new, uh, new kind that's their new colors that are, they're called the adhesive back solid gems in the catalog. And they're copper clay, boho blue, and lemon lolly. And so I thought, oh, well, I'll put the lemon lolly embellishment in there to finish it off. But for some reason, I don't think that it works all that well. It just looks a little, maybe too pale. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any embellishments in the flirty flamingo. So I'm going to leave it there for now. But um, yeah, I'm just not really sure what I what I want to do to make that butterfly pop a little bit more. But there's my simple slimline cards today. One more thing that I should just mention. <laughs> I did a slimline card with uh, my club stampers at my class recently, I guess it was just last week. And I was telling everybody, oh yeah, we have these slimline envelopes. They come in a pack with three colors, white, gray, and green. And guess what? <laughs> They're not in the catalog anymore. I guess they've been discontinued, which disappointed me a lot. Well, um, that that I, they can't be reordered but I do still have some here and um, then I started looking at how they make these and so you could almost like you could almost take one of these apart I know this is a terrible thing I'm doing but if you take if you have one slimline envelope that's all you need is just one you could take it apart and open it up and see the measurements it's not going to look pretty but and then you can you know cut paper just like this to make your own slimline envelopes oh look at that you really get the full effect of the lining on the inside of it so there we go it's basically in case you're wondering what size this is so cross here it's like eight eight and a quarter inches from here to here and you score it at one and one and seven eighths and five and seven eighths I think something like that and they're going to overlap and then you'll have another piece that's going to fold up here and this to fold down and the length from end to end oh is just under 11 inches I, I guess you could say 11 inches, but then if you want to curve off the top and make it fancy there. So, so you can make these, or you can just go to your office drawer and grab a business size envelope and you can use a business size envelope too. So um, you have a few options, um, even though we can't order these anymore. And I'm a little pouty about that, but Okay, so I'm just going to take a quick look to see if uh, any last questions or comments have come through. And, um, oh, oh, thanks, Sue. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a tough, uh, yeah, it's a tough thing, you know, that you have to do. And um, we're just, yeah, we'll hopefully make today or make tomorrow go as, as well as it can. It, I think they've got really, really good stuff. Um, where she's going in Providence Place, and it's a really nice facility. So, um, yeah. Oh, on hello to Brenda and to Brenda, and um, ah, thanks, Pam. You have a great rest of the week too. And he said, "What's wrong with it? I don't know. I just felt that maybe the butterfly was just a little pale, that it needed more pop. But maybe when I look at it in the morning, I'll look at it with different eyes. So." Thank you so much for finding me and watching and hope you get a chance to try using some of your papers and make some cards and enjoy our lovely weather. Just have a great week. Thanks all. Bye for now.